Hello everybody! It's time to go back to Gran Turismo 3 and I had a little problem with the last uh, event championship I have in Beginner Lego. I want to finish it permanently but I had, even though I spent some money on upgrades for this Subaru Impreza, it wasn't so good. So I thought this is gonna be a last time when I'm gonna drive this Subaru Impreza ready car prototype. So what we have today is final championship uh, in beginner level. All other events and championships are finished. Beside of this one. GT World Championship. Series of 10 races. On Tokyo, Super Speedway, Rio Mountain, Midfield, Laguna Seca, Seattle, Special Stage Route 11, Apricot Hill Raceway, second version of Trial Mountain, and uh, Grand Valley Speedway. This is definitely a World Championship. We also get uh, 10,000 per each race, 10,000 credits, if we pass them all at pole position. Price will be huge too. Let's participate in this championship. <coughs> Let's see what's gonna be here. Okay, so we have Gran Turismo World Championship with very nice position grid. We have Toyota Super Auto Vax Apex MRS from uh, Japan GT300 class and four ready cars. We have Lance Revolution 6, uh, owned by Tony McKinnon, another Impreza ready car prototype, but that's not a problem. We also have Toyota Celica and Super Impreza from 1999, possibly owned by Richard Burns. So, first I need to check on some settings. Why? Because I have some stuff to do. Excuse me for a moment, I have to do this. I just have to m make this gearbox much better, but also because we are driving a rally car, we need a gearbox which have uh, long range on a first gear, but then the rest. Okay. This might be okay. So, let's go. Okay. As you can see, rally cars are not so fast because I am too driving in a rally car. For all I know, the main problem here might be this Toyota GT300 car because it's drive uh, much faster than any other opponents. This is a nice match. GT300 versus 5 rally cars. Okay. It wasn't so bad because this is the race number one. But the next one I'll have much more problems I think. I have learned about that. First race will be pretty easy at the third or maybe fourth race I may have a little problem I'll have to see it 
what it's gonna be. Right now I'm driving very fast around Tokyo on this Tokyo Route 246. And I have a ready car which lose some speed at uh, high RPMs. But still this uh, gearbox I got was a very good idea for me. see on the map I'm definitely sure that MRS is not that much fast but is faster than all these ready cars Two seconds behind me. I don't mind. Uh, almost one and a half. Who cares? The most important thing is that I won at the first place without any problems. Okay, next session. Race number two. If I remember, we're gonna drive from Tokyo to Super Speedway. I can take four laps here. This is gonna be a very nice race. Okay. Let's go. Because this is super speedway, I am pretty sure that MRS might have something to say to me. But right now, I am faster than him. And even though he had my slipstream, <laughs> he's, he's not getting any faster. can do 140 well that's all he could do he didn't have any chance to catch me
<laughs> Even though I thought that MRS might be faster than me, it's not. It's only faster than most of these other ready cars here. Isn't that funny? Okay. And I won. Race number two. It's time to get some cash. And the next session awaits. Okay, let's start race number three on Trilla Mountain. I'm gonna be honest with you, like always, this is gonna be a very big pain in the ass. You know, just in case, I am saying that I'm like always because you know I am honest. I'm that kind of a YouTuber who doesn't need to cheat, to lie, and some other stuff. Let's go. Anyway, <coughs> why I am saying that Trial Mountain might be a big pain in the ass? Because for all I know, I I passed this championship many times. And I know that MRS is way more faster than this ready cars. Even now you can see that I must catch up to him. As you can see, Toyota is losing uh, lead distance and we are getting closer to this cliff section I touch the grass Okay I have to get him out of my way Well, this is a very nice challenge. Ready cars owned by artificial intelligence in this game can be only a decoration. This is mostly a challenge between me and this Toyota GT300 car. Over one second of lead distance. Yeah, that's very nice. 
Let's move to the next race. Race number four is waiting for us. Okay, so we have race number four, which takes place on Midfield Raceway. Uh, this, this is going to be a very nice race. If this Toyota GT300 car turns to a chance on Trial Mountain, I'm sure that on Midfield I might have some problems. Let's check. Maybe I can win this race without any problems. That's a very good situation. I have a ready car. I tried to win this championship with a green Mazda RX-7 Hyper Z, which I have in my garage, thanks to Japanese championship. I tried this red Subaru Impreza, which you saw, I had it upgraded. Still, no chances. Two or three years ago I even tried to pass this Grand World Championship or Beginner Lego with Aston Martin Vanquish. And I guess that British V12 is not very good for this uh, rally and race cars. Mostly because even though we have very fast V12, Aston Martin makes very heavy cars. Okay. I think he can't. He could somehow get to my slipstream zone. That's what I can call. Ah! I got into the sand. Okay, it's not very bad. And another race is won by me. Race number four is out. It's time for race number five. So race number five takes place on Laguna Seca, which is placed in Monterey in California. It's a very nice tip well not tip, easter egg in 2001 it was still named Laguna Seca but if you are playing Gran Turismo Concept from 2002 you can see that somehow at 2001-2002 Laguna Seca had ownership uh, by Mazda it was called Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca then so I guess we'll have to go there and see what's gonna be. Let's go!
cut this corner because I don't care. We don't have any penalties and some other stuff. And I have to punish this MRS because I think that like when I sec I might have a chance to push him out of the road. So maybe once uh, some of these ready cars might overtake him. Okay, let's find out. Even though they are far away, maybe I can do something. Maybe not on the course cross section, but still. Sorry. Drifting. to be a dirty driver too. Oh. There were the cones that I got. this corner again I'm gonna take my chances on this track because I can oh. even though I got this corkscrew section at 100 kilometers per hour was still very difficult to keep that place and that speed. Okay, I'm curious what's gonna be next because I won race number five. So five races are passed. It's time for another five races. I can honestly say that another five races can be much more difficult. But whatever, we can try. Don't you think? Okay. So let's go to the track number six. Okay, so we have race number six, which takes place on Seattle Circuit. Two laps around the popular Seattle track. Uh, we have a very nice track because we are driving on Alaskan Way. As you can see in the background, this uh, very high tower. Anyway. Most of the people that played Gran Turismo knows this track very good. Let's just get there. Let's get these two laps and win this race. I have to take the outside here in order to make myself some room. Another Super Impreza prototype is pushing me up the road. Yeah, this is a very nice equal match. Okay.
now I only have to overtake him. Main problem with that is MRS also have 300 horsepower but it's lighter and also you have the chassis which maybe is more aerodynamic something like that okay so I guess I have to be a dirty driver it works he also hit a wall that's driving here need distance Race number seven. Race number seven is going to be very funny. Race number seven takes place. Sorry. Race number seven takes place on Special Day Route 11. Again, we have two laps and we are driving at night. This is a very nice track because we have uh, maybe this is not the same as in Gran Turismo 1 but still nice memories and we have high speed section on the highway here and a lot of helping turns chicane and some other stuff Let's try. Get out of my way. Ouch. So they are fighting now. That's too bad because I have my method for that. I only have to worry about our fast Toyota. I guess I won for now.
final lap. Pass this hairpin turns without any cheats, tricks, and wall riding. Huge lead distance, almost two and a half seconds of lead distance from Toyota MRS. MRS can kiss my ass because I am in the first place. Okay. That's nice. Now it's time for race number eight, which is now on a Pricot Hill Raceway. This should be interesting, considering the fact that this is a high-speed track. And this Toyota GT300 car might have a lot of unfair advantage. I'll have to see that. Just watch. something so I have to cut this video anyway I have two second gap to this Toyota but I think that's something I can manage because even though it's a high-speed track I have this hairpin turn and soon I will pass the chicane a very good chicane where I can get enough speed just to overtake or get closer to this MRS. As you can see how this gap distance became smaller when I got this carpenter and now this chicane. And I can catch the slipstream from this Toyota. Yeah, it's getting faster now, but still I can catch him. Okay. 
again, cutting the track, cutting the grass, I mean. That's a very nice cornering. Thanks to this carpenter and chicane, I have a very nice lead distance, first place, and I won race number seven. That's nice. Oh, it was race number eight. My bad. Race number seven was one of. Special Stage Route 11 So race number 9 takes place on the second version of Trial Mountain The only difference is that we are driving on uh, another direction Let's go Only two tracks And I can get a huge prize Some cars and some other stuff First of all, I have to overtake all of these really cars. Ouch. My bad. Okay. And this is race number nine. As this is one of the most difficult, I think. To be honest, as I said uh, earlier, the race uh, first race was easy. Then we have medium difficulty. Now MRS is driving much faster. Ouch. Still almost one second gap. I have to cut this corner. Cut this corner. Mm -hmm. Gap distance is raising up. That's for being too fast for any others. Haha! <laughs> Who's the bitch now? some unfair advantage in order to overtake me before the end of this race. I need to watch out and don't look back because I can feel a little pressure on me. Well, 
I've made it. Somehow. Again, 10,000 is mine. And it's time for race number 10. The final showdown on Beginner Lego before I can finish this championship and move to the other one. Race number 10, Grand Valley Speedway. Three laps instead of two. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess you can find out who might be the winner and who might be a loser. three laps instead of two and we are driving on Grand Valley Speedway that means that I have fast car but not that fast as MLS and also we have well the good thing is that we have a lot of happen turns here happen turns as bands and some other Corners. And on this carpet turn, I can push this part of the road. Get out of the road. Whoa! Toyota pushed the Mitsubishi last race for 6 and he almost got into the grass corner I'm not talking too much right now because I uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. I can drive very fast on this long section. He's not even trying.
Okay. It's getting a little pro closer. But it still wasn't so good. corner well that was not so good cut hairpin turn and then go into the grass So I guess this is not so bad and even though I had some problems I managed to pass this Gran Turismo World Championship on Beginner Lego that means I have finished the whole Beginner Lego we're gonna move sooner to Amateur Lego let's see the final stats for the championship because I'm curious so much I cannot Abandon this pure 100% for me. The rest, not very bad, too. Okay. I finished the Grand World Championship and got. 50,000 credits! Uh, much more than on any other event championship in Beginner Lego. Also, let's check what kind of price car I could get. Yes! Yes, I got this beautiful Lancer Evolution 6 with this special yellow color. You can also get much more cars like Mazdaino's Roadster, mm, Blue or 10 Metallic Nissan Skyline GTR R32, and maybe even Orange Toyota Celica. But I guess this Lancer Evo 6 with this yellow color is much better. Also, we got completed Beginner Lego, that means we also have another Lancer Evolution. This time is Evolution 5 with this beautiful special blue color. And we also got this nice ending movie A with a song that is played in Grand Smoke 4 made by Johann Sebastian Bach. This ending movie is very emotional. I remember, remember when I was a child and played this game I used to cry a lot when I heard this music and this ending movie. You could also cry. N nostalgia you have. I still remember ending movies from Gran Turismo Concept and some other games. Even now you can feel emotions, tingles and some other stuff. I won this beginner Lego, that means sooner I will move to amateur one, pass all of these championships, and then everything is gonna be fine with this game. I will finish this game, I will get all prize cars, all gold trophies, 
and also this emotional feeling there's a car driving through the sunset in the background Castleton Supra GTC driving on Cielo I know this is funny when you are crying because of this song anyway I passed Grand Smolt Championship and a whole beginner Lego so I got two prize cars and that's it I'll see you next time I hope see you soon and have a nice day <laughs>